Hello everybody and welcome back to another Trenton Mod 4 video. We are taking a first look at the new Dovetail Games' Salzburg to Rosenheim route here in Germany slash going into Austria as well. Um, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show it off. But yeah, here we are at Rosenheim. We've got the lovely new locomotive. This is new to this route, the, uh, the DBBR111. Um, let's get in. And uh, yeah, we'll get it set up, which I haven't set this up before, so I'm going to take a bit of a guess of how we set it up. But the German trains usually are quite standard. Like any train, right? That goes like that. Uh, brake key, we'll do that. Doors, we shall open. What have we got? Throttle. So we haven't got any sort of AFB, um, which is the cruise control. We've got the driver's brake. Valve. Um, okay, yeah, that's fine. Oh, gosh, we'll keep that in one. Uh, what else have we got? There goes oh, that like one five five, which a lot of these trains are um, substitutes and stuff from other routes. Um, so I know on this route you get the one one one. I think the one eight five. Uh, I think the other two you get, and obviously the Dosto as well. Uh, we probably will be late on this service, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see. What all these things do. Um, good uh, safety systems. We'll have a look at them. See if we can get them on. I don't know how well the audio is. Let me turn that up. Should be at a good level. Uh, battery. All of that good stuff. PZB, where are you? Can we go in here? Oh, we can't go in there. Uh, where are all the fuses for PZB? Well, there's a signal light, so that's good. Does it not have in cab PZB fuses? That's CIFA. Can we get that open? Look, you can see the CIFA fuse in there. Uh, hang on, what was that? Oh, I can do that. Why can't we turn that on then? Is there a way to open that? Not sure. Well, let's um, we'll probably, let's use the keyboard shortcut. Unless it's down here somewhere. Sometimes they're snuck down here. No, I don't think so. Yeah, uh, let's use the keyboard shortcut and let's see if that changes that in there. Okay, I didn't actually hear anything click there, so maybe it's in the other cab. Um, which is a possibility. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few more switches in there. So that's probably where it is. Oh, yeah, P's and B's in there as well. Uh, let's get the door shut. Uh, we have got a look at the mountains. And we shall begin our journey on this 1970s/80s classic. And it is a tap charge. Well, it's not a wheel, but it's like that, as you can see. So you don't want to overdo it because otherwise it will get angry. So you've got to be nice and gentle with this train. Okay, it's got the usual sort of German horn, just not great. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's unrestrict ourselves. You obviously, you have, well, we'll have to get used to running this. Probably just overcharged it. Have we? No, I think we're alright. Yeah, so you've got to be quite careful. 50 kilometres an hour out of here. I'll sort of alter the audio as we go along. But yeah, this is a new locomotive to the game, the uh, Triple One. There it is, and you've got the, yeah, the Dostos behind. Lights should be on. Yeah, I believe the lights are on. They're just quite dim, which they probably would be for this older locomotive. So it's going to be a fairly challenging drive. It's not like an easy locomotive to drive. Like it has a bit more challenge to it, considering it is a um, a tap changer, tap changer, tap charger. So it's not like your average throttle where you just basically you know a zero to a hundred percent. You've got different well charges to change to. <coughs> and we can speed that up, run up. But you don't want to run it up too much though, because otherwise it will break the uh, fuse. 
I thought I'd pick a really nice early morning run, but it looks really bright. This is on the um, PlayStation 5. Sorry this wasn't out yesterday. But yeah, Dovetail, they don't like to have early access on consoles. Basically, it's PC. All about PC most of the time. Sad. Dovetail, please, early access console. I'll whack that up. There we go. Hold that. Along we go. It's really bright though, isn't it? I mean, it's 6.44. I suppose, yeah, the sun's quite low. Be at this, uh, at this time. I'll right, we'll hold it there in about 10, as you can see there. In fact, we'll run it down a bit. across here. Oh, there's also neutral sections on here as well, which make it interesting. That was cool. That was a nice uh, view across there. Here's the route map. So you've got Rosenheim over here, um, and Salzburg over here. Sort of big complex. Looks like you've got a couple of little branch lines as well for freight. That's nice to see. But yeah, it's a German slash Austrian route. Um, yeah. So, for the most part, it's well the German signals. And then once you get into Austria, you get the, um, the Austrian signals, which, are, I mean, all of them are literally almost exactly the same. as. There's not much difference on Austrian railways. very similar working practices and signals to um, German railways. And if you can understand German stuff, you'll be able to understand Austrian railway stuff. So don't worry about being like, oh my god, I'm not going to know the signals. Very similar. So what stations have we got? We've got bad, they like calling them places bad. What's the other one? Bad old or slow? That's like the other one on Hamburg, but there's a 101, you've got Bad Endorf, Prienzschimpse, Bernorchimpse, Übersee, uh, Bergen, Traustein, or Traunstein, Tysendorf, Freelassing, and then Salzburg. I know I made a complete hash of all those pronunciations, so I apologise to any uh, native German and Austrian viewers for mucking up your uh, town names. Makes you feel any better? Some UK places I can't pronounce. That's a bit worrying. That level crossing literally just went down. <laughs> That's what has we're literally about to thunder through. Same for this one as well. They're, they're still going down. It's a bit weird, isn't it? A bit late. Right, let's run it up. Oh, hang on, we do actually have like a, a power thing on here. How does that work then? It's like we get taps. Oh, yeah, I suppose yeah, we need taps and also. Wow, look at this. Yeah, let's put it in 100%. So this is quite a weird, sort of unique loco. So yeah, we've got the taps um, as well, as well as this. Cool. Right, up to 140, here we go. run that down. Let it coast or let it sort of coast. I think the mountains are still very much with us over there, the Alps. I believe these would be the Alps. As we thunder along. Which it, it really is bright. I don't know if that's, uh, I mean, that's probably, yeah, that's just TSW at 6 in the morning. Oh well. Probably about to be a warning board, which we'll probably end up missing. So we've got to be careful and we'll get back in the cab quite quickly. And there's the DOS day. See for. 
And I assume we will have a warning board for the 110, or is it on the signal? Yeah, I think it actually is on the signal, or at least the, the little uh, signage is on on the signal. So we'll come down to 110. Let's run that down since it's off. Acknowledge that, and we'll start putting the brakes on. I don't think this is like a really quick route, but then it's not a really slow route. It's, um, I think the yeah, average is, well, I think the top speed is basically what we were just doing then. See, so yeah, it's not like a, a really fast route, but then it's not a slow route. It takes about an hour and 10, hour and 15 minutes to get from one end to the other. So in terms of length, it's a fairly lengthy route. I mean, I did actually have the little information screen up about it. Oh, I did. So, hang on, do I? I might still. No, I don't I do anymore. But yeah, it's a fairly long route, kilometre-wise. We've got 4.9 kilometres to Bad Endorf Platform 4. Let's run that up. I want to see sort of how far you can push it before it says, like, no, no more. There's a fair bit as we're already at quite a high speed. Yeah, we can basically get up to max. And we'll run that down again. Cool. But yeah, if you've got other German route. Oh, look at this, we've got like a lake on the right here. Look at that. Wow. But yeah, um, if you own other German routes, you'll see the other German trains on here as well, because they all layer on. I think Vorarlberg actually, Vorarlberg gives you the, um, no, it, uh, hang on, I think the talent one, yeah, I think the route, uh, the trains included in this route are the triple, tri triple one, the 185 and the talent one, I think the talent one is included. Which is like the OBB one zero four two. But then yeah, all of the other German stuff, it all just plump plops onto here. <coughs> and quite excitingly, there's more services for the um, DBBL one oh one, which is like one of the best German trains. Right, we've got two and a half kilometres to Bad Endorf, so we are getting there. We will be late. Um, but then that is just us. <laughs> but it's our first time on the route. What can you expect? Hold that there. Let's run that down. Hold it there. See, so yeah, at the moment we're on the German side of the uh, of the route. I think uh, the the Austrian bit's quite small. It's only from I think Freilassing. Freilassing. Which is like right at the end of the route, basically. So for the majority of it, you are within German territory. Slowly popping that down for the 60. That's it, as we approach Bad Endorf. Scenery's not too bad. I mean, so far the scenery hasn't looked too bad. I can see sort of through sort of plain spots. Oh no, it's loaded in now. Okay, slightly slow at loading. I mean, it looks pretty nice, though. So far. Actually, I don't know this area in real life, so I can't really compare it to anything for real. I assume we were going to be turning off here. Yep, there we go. Otherwise it probably wouldn't come down to 60 quite abruptly. Well, this is bad Endorf we're coming into. And this is a route by Dovetail Games as well. So a first party uh, DLC. Here we are. Now we get to test the brakes. How good are the brakes? Got a nice modern station this one. Always has like a more modern feel to it. I 
90 meters, there's the um, stop markers, just to the end of the platform. We'll also have a look at the um, Dostos as well, because I think the Dostos actually have been slightly changed. Like, not much, but there's like little differences with them. So we'll take a look at that. Right, let's go and do that now. Let's go and have a look at the Dostos. <coughs> if we can get out. Let me down. Well, that's the outside view of the 111. Look at that. Pretty, uh, quite a pretty locomotive. Yeah, from sort of 70s and 80s. Are the lights on? I think the lights are on, yeah. I think so. It looks like it. Has it not got the blue lighting? I know some of them have blue lighting to them. I mean, it does look on. And uh, let's... Oh, is it not? Oh, dim. Coach lights on. Okay, yes, yeah, so there are little differences to them. I'm pretty certain on other routes that you've got, like, blue lighting upstairs, or blue purpley lighting. But you'll see the odd differences, obviously, yeah, the... PIS and stuff. I don't know, I'm sure if you know this, know this bit, you'll probably be like, oh yeah, that's what, that's a bit different, oh, that's a little bit different. But to the average Joe, like me, uh, I suppose that's probably the next stop, Prian. It does look near enough the same. Oh, yeah, I'm sure to people who know this route, know this area in real life, you might, be, you might notice <coughs> other little things. Ah, we can't adjust the seat. Right, let's get in. Let's get the door shut. And yeah, we're off to Pre and Chimsey next. That is our next stop in seven minutes. Right. Oh, I think we I think we overcharged it there. Is it one of those ones where it gets angry with you, or will it be happy? I think it's happy, that's good. Right, we're off. Six and a half kilometres. So we're due into Salzburg at uh, probably about eight o'clock. Yeah, just before eight o'clock. So we've still got quite a way to go. It's, it's, it's a long route. It's not like, you know, 40 minutes one end to the other. Like all the, Even the fast services are over an hour. Well, I think the fast services do end up stopping at most stations anyway. Or at least the 110 does. Oh, the 111. What, what, what one are we? A regional barn. I mean, the IC services probably not, aren't much quicker. They'll still be about an hour. And the route is also set in around 2012. Um, actually, you know, tell a lie, the route is set modern day. But the trains you see on the route and the timetable are set in 2012. Which is a little bit peculiar. Um, but yeah, again, to most people, you won't notice a difference. To me, it's a, it's a German slash Austrian route. It doesn't really bother me whether the trains are 2012 and the route itself is 2024. It, yeah. If it was something you care about, like, ooh, but for this, I, I, yeah, it doesn't bother me. Lovely uh, views we're getting now of those mountains. I was quite worried we wouldn't be able to see the mountains when uh, when they showed the preview for this. I was thinking, or at least on console, I was like, ah, oh, probably going to somehow cut them out. But uh, no, they are very much there. And I'm liking the fact I can see vegetation and quite a lot of it right up, you know, with the line side. And fields don't look particularly barren as well. Because that was sort of an issue with dovetail roots, which they just look quite barren on console. Um, you know, grass is like, I mean, it's all sort of just very flat. Whereas on here, they've done a pretty good job of actually adding textures and stuff to fields, and it just looks good.
sort of, yeah, if we come sort of along here, see that there actually is, you know, right up close to the track, you got all the grasses and bushes and whatever. And even if we then go along, let's see if it's going to go off. Probably. Yeah, even like the fields over here, look, you've, you've got the grass. Look, this is all over. Which on previous releases, basically you'd get the scenery sort of around, you know, line side, and over here it would just be completely barren. And there'd be like nothing. So that's good. The scenery, sort of foliage wise, does seem to be pretty good. I'm not seeing any sort of too, you know, just flatness to it. Looks a lot more natural than how it should be. It's dovetail. Good job. But yeah, so we, we started seeing much better foliage on Nidatal Barn. That was like one of those routes that was like, whoa, this looks amazing. So there was just so much foliage and uh, it was great. So it is nice to uh, nice to see lots of foliage and fields which aren't barren. That's one thirty going up, so that's good. So that even sort of over here, yeah, sort of quite far within the field, you've got stuff. And we're on PS5, and for performance wise, 60 FPS. So working, well, as it should. Right, I'm tempted to. Do we speed up, or do we just let it coast? We're going, well, we were going downhill. We're only just over a kilometre from the state. I think we'll just coast it. We'll be obviously a bit later, but that's all right. The barriers do go down really late, though. That, that must be an issue. But I think, you know, like, wow, that game breaks the game, crashes the game, none of that. Right, let's slow down, because otherwise we're going to plough through the station, which we don't really want to do. So they've been using the LiDAR data for the mountains. The mountains actually look quite nice. Not jelly. Like on the Erosa line. Oh, you've got like an island platform here as well. This might be one of those sort of passing loops or sort of passing places on the route. Maybe a slow service goes into there and then fast train goes past. Platforms are massive though. Oh, you got uh, something. What's that in there? Oh, you've got a 628. Uh, so that must be some sort of junction station as well. Yeah, that is the 628 from, well, it's Nidital Barn, but from the Vorarlberg. That's where it gets into DB traffic red. <coughs> I wonder where that's going. Ashcore. If that's actually the destination. Well, that's nice to see. That's the great thing about German routes, is just the variety and what you see. Yeah, Aschel, Aschel. So I'm guessing that's, yeah, yeah, that's some sort of branch line going off down there. Which, now I now I go onto Google Maps and see how far away Aschel actually is. <coughs> could, I mean, could it be one of those places where it could have been added to the route, realistically? Right, let's, um... Let's get the door shut. We'll do that. And then I'm interested to see. Oh, oh, that one's off as well. Oh, brilliant. We won't be able to go very far. It's got to wait for us. Right, let's go. So, Ash, where's Ashaw? Uh, where, where was that station? I'm trying to find Rosenheim. There it is. So what, uh, Ashore, there's Ashore there. How far is that on the train, basically, in minutes? Oh, mate, you know, we've got a red light coming up. It's only 15 minutes on the train. 
That is... What's that? Mm, 12 kilometres. Well, that's by road. <coughs> 7 miles. So probably by rail... 5 miles? So I suppose that would be one of those opportunities where they could have added a branch line in there. Just then you have that little shuttle service to do. Which just adds to the gameplay opportunities. And I know I'm not pronouncing it actually correctly. I'm away. Yeah, so that goes off, yeah. Probably, yeah, five, six miles down to Ashall. I think there was two stations on the branch line. Unless it, well, how far can you go down it? Oh, not, like, really far. I was just interested to see what branch lines and stuff. Yeah. But that'd be a fun, I suppose, little service to, to do. So I'll put a 15 minute jolly. You've got like twin peaks up there, look. One summit and then another one right next door. Right, we'll get that up. Uh, we've got three and a half kilometres to Ben or Chimsey. Have we got any other sort of branch lines? We've got another train coming up. So we've got some there, haven't we? Alright, mate. Let's put another 111 one on the back of that. Yep. Yeah. Why don't you use the 110 on this route? That's the other tap, um, tap changer. Do we have a warning for the 110? Or is it one of those sort of freak speed limits where it just comes out of nowhere? I think it, I don't think there is a warning for it. No, no. No, that's alright. 130 though, basically straight away, so that's a bit of an interesting limit. Look at the scenery. The scenery has been done pretty well on this route. I mean, not in every area, it seems, sort of looking over there to the left there. But overall, yeah, there's not some sort of wasteland there. Um, yeah, not too bad, though. Yeah, not, yeah, not too bad. They're definitely better scenery from Dovetail. Right, let's uh, slow that down. But that's the good thing about having third-party developers in the game, is that it put, raises the bar and also shows off what DTG could do. So it's like Blackpool, Nidertail Barn. It sort of yeah, raises that bar up sort of, of what's possible and what people expect. And this route yeah, definitely does seem to look a lot nicer scenery wise or at least yeah foliage vegetation wise it's not just bald next to the uh oh we're going we're going to the we're going we're going to the end i suppose quite a long train actually yeah fairly long train anyway still on the platform just going to another part of the platform Now we This is another station. Benor Achimzi. Little funny horn it's got. Why can't German trains just have cool horns to them? Right, uh, next up is Ubasi. That is the uh, next one along. Get the door shut. And yeah, you do have manual PIS as well. Something which I would like to see return on uh, UK stuff. Right, let's go. Oh, hang on. Have we overcooked it? Mm, maybe. Maybe? I think. No, I don't know. No, it's doing something. 
Well, we we're moving. We will slip in apparently. Well, I think we're all right, so we'll just continue as we are. Yeah, let's let's just continue as we are. As we make our way out of here. Run that up. So we'll see how fast we can accelerate on this train. If I just basically just keep running it up. Oh, hang on. Oh, it didn't like that. I don't know what I just did, but it didn't like it. Why can't I just keep running up? A bit of power there as well. What does that do? Okay. Well, we're doing something. We're accelerating, so that's good. We got uh, about seven kilometres to Uber C. So I suppose we'll just get the speed up and uh, hope for the best. Whereabouts are we on the routes? We're still sort of within the the straighter part of the route. You know, the sort of wig of the bit here we're going to be coming up to. But we're almost sort of, I suppose, half, almost halfway. Almost. There we go, we are at top speed. Shit, I think 130 probably is the max on here. Which is, you know, read it well. Was that about 70 miles an hour? So that's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. 130 is decent. that we've got tons of stations on it, Bergen, Traunstein, Tysendorf, Frelassing and Salzburg, so actually we haven't got like lots of lots. I wonder what the express service is, I wonder where they would stop. As I was probably just something like Freelassing and that's probably about it, straight to Rosenheim. What we'll do once we finish this journey, we'll come out and I'll show you scenarios, journey mode, what trains I've got on there, and what trains are included. We'll sort of have a general look of what there is on the route. And I've got 140 coming up. And 140 is coming up, so that's a bit quicker. Contact signal on the phone. That doesn't seem to be much, but like, it, like not lots and lots of functionality it seems. Like what are all these buttons down here you can't use? Well, there's the battery and stuff. That was it. Uh, that was different camera views. We have all these buttons down here. Can't seem to be used. You still got this screen on as well. Which I think that would be the Ebula. Dovetail, bring it in, you know. So train-wise, yeah, the train has, well, I'd say the normal amount of functionality, but scenery-wise, definitely looks a lot nicer than usual releases. Which I like. Right, let's pop back down. Oh, we don't fly through the station. 600 meters, oh this is, okay it's just here, right, come on try and slow down a bit, don't go too quick. The platforms are really long though, like there hasn't been a station with a small platform, they've all had really long platforms, so you could probably shoot into it. On this international border route. Which I think is sort of a main corridor from Munich, Munich down into Austria. So I think that's sort of where this route properly begins is is in Munich. That's sort of one of the uh, 
far ends of it. Nice bit of weathering on the roof as well. Sort of wear and tear. And the dust has changed in any way sound wise. Let's have a look at the cab car. We'll go in this cam to have a look. What is the cab car? Oh, hello. I don't know. I thought it was a different type of uh, CIS. Anything changed in here? I can't remember the last rendition of the Dosto. I'm thinking Razor Dresden. Yeah, that's relatively similar. Doors. Oh yeah, they've still got that closing chime to them, or closing tone. Right, let's uh, do a bit of that, and let's run it up. Whoa, let's not overcharge it though, which I think we've just done there, actually. Which we've got anger with us. So it's Bergen next, Obber Bay. So what the mountains in the uh, distance there, which from here that mountain looks pretty nasty. I thought that was using the LiDAR data. I mean, it probably is, but from here, I don't know how well you can see that on video. It doesn't look fantastic. Um, you know, say Braubberg Mountains, where you're like literally like, wow. Seeing it from here, I mean, maybe because it's distance seeing the rate the detail's been lowered quite a bit. Um... Yeah, it doesn't look fantastic though. I mean, I suppose from a distance it's it's okay, but uh, yeah, maybe it's just the lighting on it as well. Yeah, cause I suppose if you if you're not really looking at it, but oh wow, look at that massive mountain over there. You sort of zoom in, sort of have a look. You're like, oh, it could just be the lighting on it though. The early morning sun making it look a bit. Yeah. There's a 101. What a beautiful loco. One of our favourite German locos to drive, that is. With the IC coaches, of course. Off we go, though. Enjoying the journey so far. It's quite a long winded journey, but. Uh, yeah, it's nice to be in a, well, a, a slightly different German loco. It's gonna sound really weird, but this reminds me of driving from the M wagon. Where you sort of you don't get the wheel to turn on the throttle, but you've just got the little stick, and you've got to try to basically overcharge it. I should also try and get a screenshot somewhere along here. Hopefully the game doesn't crash as well. It likes to do that on photo mode. Let's use the autofocus. Actually, let's do it from that side. Yeah, that actually looks quite good just as it is like that. Get another one, little cheeky extra. There we go. I've got a 130 coming up. So we shall basically just turn that off. Acknowledge that. Not that it makes much of a difference, I'm already going at 130. So I probably will get into Salzburg at about 8 o'clock, because we are running a few minutes late, so. I just hope we don't do what Matt did on the preview stream, and um, get stuck out freelancing. But like another train came in, and basically, yeah, it just, he had to sit there for about 10 minutes. Matt being Dovetail Games, Matt, the executive producer for TSW. Kilometers. So a one in a hundred gradient as well up here. So this loco isn't. Yeah, it's not the easiest to drive. It's, it's slightly challenging so far. I suppose maybe we haven't completely worked it out yet. Yeah, this is. I suppose the new train within the DLC. Completely new. 
three and a half kilometers to uh, Bergen. But Bergen, Bergen, maybe it's Bergen, Bergen. It's probably not. B's probably pronounced differently. I'm trying to think of places in Germany beginning with B, like bigger places somewhere. Bayern, Bayern, no Bayern, there B, B, Bayern. That's uh, I know that's a football thing. Bayern Leverkusen, Bayern Munich. So it's never, that's a, I suppose yeah, B is B. I don't know if I should keep cutting it off. Probably have to run it. I should probably run it down. That's probably the healthier option. So it's basically cutting it off. Right, let's uh, start popping the speed down. Down to 100. As we come up to a Bergen station. Which we're now sort of getting on to the start of the weekly bit. part of the room. But no, I'm quite happy with sort of near scenery. Because yeah, it does, I, I'm not seeing barrenness. I can see grass, I can see all the bushes and stuff all quite close and far. And the other scenery looks well. I don't know, it looks fine. Really, any issues with that? Five hundred meters to Bergen. Oh, here it is! Wow, it's here. <laughs> sort of because of the brightness on it is sort of camouflaged. Here. I didn't see it there. Right, okay, well here we are. Let's hope this one's got a fairly long platform, which it does. Look at that, really long platform. Do we have a stop marker, or is it sort of just guess when you're in the platform? I think it's a guessing game. I don't think it would be happy if we stopped now, even though we're in the platform. Probably say, oh wait, go forward. Can we stop there? We're in the platform. Should be okay. Yeah. Do the doors. Here we are, and then up next is going to be Tronstein. So we've got the two T's and an F and then a S. But the two T's are up next. Yeah, there's one there. Seems to have. I think that's probably what. That's probably a talent one there, isn't it? A couple of branch lines. Uh, where would the other one be? That must be the other one there. And then free lassing, and then Salzburg, which is which is here. Right, let's get the door shut. Only about three minutes late, so that's not too bad. Right, let's go. We are on the move. Probably killing the train as well. Sorry, train. Six kilometres to Traunstein. Let's put it at full power. What's the worst that could happen? And collectibles on this route, I would imagine our maps. I can see something there. Maps. First aid points. Uh so that's all bikes as well, maybe. Possibly. A one in ninety one grade, but look at the scenery through here though. This is this is nice. Genuinely really nice actually. Good stuff. Scenery is a big positive on here. And I know people were saying that on the preview stream as well. It's like wow. So this is, this is a good yeah, good yeah, good indication of what's to come, I suppose. Hopefully. Well 
Well, let's run it down a bit more naturally. And then we'll cut it off. Boom. I'm quite high up as well, so I'm sort of climbing up. Little funny thing to it. This early morning service into uh, into Salzburg. I wonder if it's like a commuter route. This one, I suppose, probably is. Yeah. Well, yeah. Is it a commuter route, or sort of more of just sort of a regional intercity route? Although it could be both. I suppose you'd probably get people commuting into uh, Salzburg. Been a fairly bigish place. 3.8 kilometres though, up to 100 to get that up. So I don't think we can actually cut this one out. I'm trying to sort of cut it out purposely, blow the fuse, but I don't know if it can actually. So that's good. Makes it a little bit easier. I'm gonna run that down. And then we'll set it off. Well, they're saying that, we are going uphill, so I might try and keep a little bit of power. So I'll keep that in for well, eh? Oh, it's not a long freight train, a little, little freight train there. 185, Rail Leon. So I think that's probably from Main Spessart Barn. And this is other routes now of the Rail Leon 185, which there probably is. As we approach Traunstein, so we seem to, it looks like we have another branch line here. One you can't go down, but it looks like there is one. So we'll definitely be seeing where the train goes. Oh, and a scary signal as well. So we have got to slow down a fair bit. A considerable amount. A 70 warning there. So green over yellow is usually 40. Yeah, 40 or so. So probably as we're sort of turning into the station, maybe. We're coming up to the uh, signal, green over yellow. Oh, 60. That's all right, then. That is just fine. But yeah, I'm really impressed with the scenery on here. Like, I've not really seen any sort of spots where it's like, oh, it looks really barren and just not nice. <coughs> it looks nice. It's, it's well done. You can tell they've spent quite a bit of time on this. There's not like, you know, bald patches right next up to the track. You know, the veg is right there. Those railway lines in real life, they're not literally like completely, you know, empty either side. There's tons of nature and veg and stuff coming up close. So they've done a good job with that. Oh, hang on, no, it's not a talent one. Oh, that'd be three coaches, wouldn't it? It's a 425, I want to say. Looks like a 425. Oh, we're coming right across. Oh, no, no, we're not. There you go, six there. That's quite a big station in this one. Or like a main station. Nice signal box there as well. well this is quite nice. Quite a funky station as well. There's a lot, a lot of trains on this route, though. Yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. And this is sort of your average service on here with the 111. Oh yeah, they're all sort of these, these ones. Here we are. It's not bad though. It is looking good. I'm guessing that must might might have been a, an old platform here. Looks like it. And then yeah, Salzburg up there. That's nice. Look, uh, three minutes. 
that's all right. And then yeah, so this is uh, this is Traunstein. And there's the 425, which is... Where's that going? Where's the 425 going? It's a Ru... Rupolding, that one. Now, what does it say on there? Not in service. So they haven't put the new uh, destinations on there. So that goes off... O How <coughs> far away is that, though? Let's have a look. Ru... Dolphin, or whatever it was called. Uh, Traunstein. Is that... Like a close place. Right, let's run that up. I think we, we must be overcharged on it. Yeah, we must be. I'm sort of experimenting how much we can overcharge it. We go. We got a green over yellow, so that's uh, 60 kilometres an hour. There we go. Yeah, looking looking good though. Looking good as we make our way along. Some sort of bridge we're going over. Let's put that down. Sort of fired up. Nice. Let's take that off. Let's uh, turn that two off. 90 along here. I don't know if you heard that, but my alarm started going off, so I quickly went to disable that. 14 kilometres to uh, Tysendorf. Let's get the power back up. Seven thirty-seven, would you? They're probably not going to get there on time. Oh yeah, what was that? There? I was looking. Yeah, how far away? I can't remember the, mem remember the name of the place now. That was like another branch line. How far does that branch line go? <clears throat> okay, fair play. That one actually does go a fair way. But actually, not really, really far. Yeah, roof polding. Which on the train, 23 minutes. 14 kilometres. So sort of another possible thing which could have been added. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's still 20 minutes on the train, so. It's just nice to see sort of what could be done, I suppose. Or sort of maybe future ideas. That's just nice to sort of generally know where all these things, all these places go. All the different lines. Oh, let's, run, let's run that. Let's just turn that to off. Even if it kills the low coat, let's just do it. It's fine. Well, these trains are still in service today. Yeah, 1970s slash 1980s low coat still in operation. Which is awesome to see. And awesome to hear. Right, pop that down to 110. There we go. 10 kilometres to Tysendorf, platform 2. What's everyone? I mean, look at this uh, along here. I mean, that's definitely the big. I know it's a sand pier, but. Uh, but so the, the scenery, the sort of yeah, the foliage and the vegetation just looks really, really good on on here. And I'm, I've mentioned it a lot of times as well. But I don't care because it looks good. It needs to be complimented.
up to uh, 130. I'm assuming that's still running up. But we'll uh, get that up to uh, max throttle. Yeah, sort of on the wiggly part of the route, but still quick at 130. You know, not slow in any anyway. Okay, cool. We'll run that down a bit. Looks like we're going downhill now, actually, so don't need to speed up too much. And I imagine that 425 we saw, you probably, unless that's a shuttle service, you probably can run that to Salzburg. Well, obviously, if it's a shuttle service, you can't, but if it's a service which does go to Salzburg, you can probably drive it. I would get a flyby shot, but I think we're coming up to a 110. A nice bridge as well, or some sort of embankment. A really nice embankment, look at that. There's the warning board for the 110. Right, let's slow that down. C30, yes. It looks lush though. Salzburg. I think Salzburg is actually surrounded by mountains, so we should um, sort of go a, sort of a further into the mountains fairly soon. <coughs> As from playing, yeah, train some classic Salzburg routes, which we, we have actually done this route before on um, train some classic. I don't know if we went the full way. Can't remember much much about it, <coughs> but um, yeah, I think Salzburg literally is surrounded by mountains. So that'd be cool to see. Comes down to 100. <coughs> yeah, that's a much closer mountain. Look at that one up there. That one looks a lot nicer than what the one we saw much further back, where I suppose it was really far in the distance and looks a bit interesting, a bit off. Put that down to 100. Yeah, this is getting nice. Look at that. Lovely. So, yeah, we're almost in Austria. Almost. It's been, well, near enough an hour now since we uh, started our journey in. Rosenheim, or Rosenheim, Rosenheim, whatever. <coughs> so yeah, it's quite a, it's a long route. It is, it's certainly a long route. But there's a nice variety in services you can do, which we'll come to once we finish this service. I mean, yeah, I think some of the services on here are about 10, 15 minutes, some, um, yeah, up to about, I mean, this is one of the longer ones. Up to sort of over an hour, but we'll have a look. Three kilometers, a uh, hundred kilometers an hour, which is probably about what 60 miles an hour. I think it is actually 60 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm pretty certain 100 is uh, 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah, it is. Oh, hello, a double headed freight train. Is that 2185s? Yeah, 2185s on that. With quite a. Wow. Yeah, that is a long old fuel service. I know American viewers will be like, that is not a long train, but that was relatively long for Europe. As we, yeah, as we approach Tysendorf already. And after that, we got Frilassing and uh, and then Salzburg. Which went to see Salzburg station. That is a cool station. <coughs> I 
because we've actually driven into Salzburg quite a lot of times on a train to classic there's so many routes which end at Salzburg which RSS LO develop Salzburg Mühldorf, Salzburg to well Rosenheim which is on TSC Salzburg to Schwa something there's quite a few different ones <coughs> all going off down separate valleys Coming in fairly quick, but just because the platforms are really long. They're coming in at 50, won't do it justice. We've got to come in faster than that. We're only two minutes late. Oh, there's, hang on, there's a 363 there. We'll be having a look at that. I don't think there was a stop marker, so anywhere will do. Pretty much. That will do. I love the way it's got, we've got the older pantograph um, style to it as well. I right, right, like it. <coughs> they got the VTG. Uh, are they from near the tail barn, those? No, they're, uh, no, they're not, are they? Or are they? No, I don't think so, no. I can't remember those on, where those ones are from. But yeah, you've got their 363 there. On some sort of service there. Which I'm sure probably it, you can do. It probably does go somewhere. But, you know, we'll take a look at most of these things on videos. So keep an eye out. Right. 11 kilometers to Frilassing. So a little bit of a way. <coughs> I think I've overcooked it again. Let's try not to overcook it. Right, run up and then hold. There we go, that's better. Gotta be really gentle with it. Doesn't like being played with too roughly. Yeah, that's a lot nicer. There we go. There's on some of those, uh, like the was it the one? What is it? The one five two? I think it's the one five two. The one ten. If you overcook it, you have to like the main circuit breaker, and you've got to do a fair bit, a fair bit more. We've now got, well, oh, we're running late, but another 15 minutes or so. Probably about an hour and 25, hour and a half. But yeah, we are running late. So hopefully we don't lose our slot at the station. Hopefully not. That wouldn't be good. <laughs> I'm running that down. Five would do there. Probably get there. Well, we did nine kilometres. So three minutes. Mm. Probably at least three minutes late. <coughs> well, we've got 160. Well, I take that back about 140 being the max. 160 is the max. Which is going to be. I don't think we can actually get. No, yeah, we can. Yeah, 160. Well, that is surprising. I thought the slow car would be 140. But no, 160. We can uh, go up to. Well, that is quite impressive. Getting the old banger up to 100 miles an hour. Well, in that case, let's get ready to go absolutely ham in it. See for. But yes, the dovetail, I mean, look at that over there as well. Dovetail have done a really good job with the scenery on this street. Well and truly. I mean, it probably is the best looking route Dovetail have done. Um, so, yeah. It is good. <coughs> I suppose, yeah, train wise, the 111. I mean, that's sort of a non German. I, I, I don't know the 111. Yeah, it's a cool train. Um, yeah, cool 
train, I suppose. I don't know what else you could have had on here. Well, they get up to 160, 100, well, 100 miles an hour. Which we will, of course, get a fly-by shot. It would be extremely rude not to get a fly-by shot. Good. This is, this is the part, I like this part of the room. Is this a, quite a straight view? Oh, yeah, it is. I think from Freelassing to Salzburg, it's quite um, uh, residential and quite urban. But Salzburg's well, really close to the border. Yeah, this is more like it. Speed. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah all right, yeah. Now the border is just after Freelassing Station. <coughs> you got like a bridge in it, well, there you are. Start popping that down. So we should, I suppose, get a warning board fairly soon. Now oh, there we go. Yeah, we've got it on the signal, so we've got to acknowledge that, and then slow down quite quickly, because otherwise it's going to get angry. Which we might have actually left that a bit too late. Actually, now we, we should be okay. <coughs> no, we're, we're fine. I thought we might have left that a little bit late. Yep, yeah, we're, we're, we're good. Oh, this is... Fright... Frail lassing? Fra oh, well, you got IC coaches in there as well. <coughs> nice. Here we are. Well, this is quite a cool place. Oh, that, hang on. This is the. Oh, it's not, it's not a museum, is it? No. Yeah, that turntable has different locomotives on it, I think each month. So you've got the, is that the 152, I think? You can see there on the turntable. <coughs> but if you'd say do it another month, it might have something different. I suppose we sort of just coast it in. Bit of freight over there, another Dosto going off to somewhere. What's this Clapham Junction of Germany? Maybe not. But quite a bit going on there, a bit of activity. Got a 363 over there. Is that another platform over there? No, that's, it's just a yard. Just a yard. Oh, and there's a talent one. Well, there are four coaches. <laughs> yeah, so I, I believe the talent one is included base with this. So yeah, talent one, one one one, and the one eight five, which is for freight. So you get a nice sort of mix of uh, different trains, and actually every other train you've seen is a substitute uh, or a layer for uh, for it. So if you own other German routes, it may be quite busy. If you don't own other German routes, it'll probably still be busy, just not as busy. Is that the road under here? 
it's like, it looks like a road going under there. That'd be interesting. It's like, I mean, it looks like a subway, but then yeah, the road goes down there. <coughs> okay, then. There's an MRC 185 over there. 185.5. And a yeah, talent one over here. Which I, I think there are shuttle services. Um, basically S-Bahn services. Uh, which run between Salzburg and Freelassing. Free, free blessing. Right. Let's go. <coughs> cool. Pull that down. Well, we can't go over 25 because otherwise bad things will happen. So that's going to be slightly harder to do, although we should be okay. Run up, hold. Just got to be quite gentle with it. And that was complete opposite. Come on. There we go. Right. Oh, 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 that almost. It's fine. It's good. <coughs> right, let's just... Right. Let's just keep it like that. Until we get past that signal and then we can then release ourselves. actually can't do yet. Okay, we're going a bit further. No, we're still, still getting monitored here. Well, this is not fair. There we go. Now we can speed up. Oh, signal box. Freelancing. Uh, we shall also, yeah, we'll get a nice shotgun over the border. Into Austria. Oh, neutral section as well. So we'll set that off. Well, that was, I think that was actually the warning for the neutral section. It's a bit further up. <coughs> Love that it's almost like, an, like a, a fate, isn't it? For the... Uh, Neutral sections. It's like, oh, dead, no power. That's like happy face when you got power again. <coughs> there you go, so you had the circuit breaker doing its thing. And this is the German Austrian border, which is quite impressive. Oh, look at the water effect there, where you can actually see the uh, bridge underneath. I haven't seen that before. It's got like a nice blue hue to it, the river. I don't know, it's a bit different. I'm, it, it's better then. I don't know, usual. There's a talent one on uh, probably an S-Barn service. Uh, let's uh, pop that up. Ice, ICE. Yes, yeah, so we now go to Austrian signals and Austrian catenary. Uh, which, yeah, as I said, right near the beginning, there's not really any difference with Austrian railways to German railways. So if you don't really know Austrian stuff, you'll recognise it. You'll be like, oh, that looks very similar to the German signals. Yeah, there's not a lot of difference. And I think, is it this station here? One of them's still under construction. Speed up a little bit. A bit slow. Nice freight terminal here, FPS wise. 30, but I mean, that's still smooth. 40 there. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that one's still under construction. Look at the workers down there doing their work. Yes, yeah, so you get a few stations along this bit, I suppose, sort of as part of the Salzburg S Bahn, as you sort of go past. Because that's what, yeah, the talent one's for doing those services. Quite a funky looking 
station, canopy. <coughs> and I think we have a big river as well before Salzburg. There's another 101, quite a few 101s I'm seeing, I like that. The 101's probably my favourite German train to drive. Um, so we'll, probably most of the time we play this route, we, we probably won't be in this, we'll be in the 101. All about the 101. Okay, there's no warning board for that. Well, I suppose it's probably not particularly needed. But there's still another two stations, I think, before Salzburg. Oh, that's that next one, actually, that next one might be Salzburg. I think it might be actually. Look how like close together these stations are. So close. Just being careful, I don't want to spad now, but that is a long old journey. I know we're a, a couple of we're gonna be a couple of minutes late, but yeah, that that is a long journey. So I suppose if you like long journeys, um, this must be the river I'm thinking about. If you like longer journeys to the norm, then uh, yeah, Salzburg Rosenheim. Which yeah, does seem to be quite a long route. Sort of surround, sort of surround, surrounded by mountains, slash hills. <coughs> and this is the cool station at Salzburg. It's quite modern, actually. I don't know when this would have got built. Well, probably, definitely, twenty-first century. So uh, it's cool. Or maybe 90s. Well, yeah, definitely later end of uh, 20th, 21st century. Probably more, well, probably, 20, I don't know, actually. Uh, it's got to be fairly modern. But yeah, another one where it's quite bright in it. It's like one of those places was like really bright, but a nice station. We'll see, sort of, yeah, we'll have a quick little fly about. Interesting uh, flats over there. Oh, really? It doesn't like us stopping there. I mean, that is a bit petty. <coughs> We've got to move forward just a tiny bit. For it to count as us stopping at the station. I mean, that is silly. Big yard over there as well. A few talent ones. Right, slam the brakes on. Kill the locomotive. Doors. Thank you. Uh, come along here. <coughs> What's down here? Obviously the some pancreas vibes. We've we'll got the shopping bit underneath. Nice. But yeah, generally a really nice scenery-wise. Very good. Very good. I mean, probably yeah, the, the probably the best DTG route in terms of scenery, which is which is good to see. Very good. Door shut. And that will then tell us how long it is the uh, the route. Uh, yeah, 88 kilometres. Is that 50 odd miles? So yeah, an hour or so. Um, right, let's come out of there. Um, and yeah, we'll go to the main menu, uh, timetable, and we'll just see what there is to do on the route. Uh, see, what can we do on the route? What's it all about? What do you do? 
once it loads us out, which always just takes forever on TSW. So it's just a blooming, blooming menu. Obviously more to it than, than what you think. Right, uh, so if anybody who does journey mode, uh, we'll get that out of the way. Uh, real rest, you've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight chapters on there. Um, <coughs> uh, back to roots. Scenario wise, you've got four scenarios. I'm not a mechanic, buckets of rain, international aid, a stand up to stand up standing. Uh, I believe there is meant to be five, but that'll be added at a later date because there was issues. That was one of the reasons why it was been a bit funny before release. Uh, timetable, uh, yeah, 345 services. So the 111, which that's the 103, that one. Uh, the 111, <coughs> there's all of the uh, services. So, you know, not loads, loads, but they're not like, you know, not, you know, uh, not. Lots of, yeah, not little amounts. You got a lot, fair amount of freight as well. I mean, that's quite a bit of freight, actually. Probably more freight. Look at that, tons of freight. Um, 628 from Vralberg. Little shuttle services. I mean, like four minutes, that one. Uh, and Talent 1. Which, yeah, does the little uh, <coughs> S-Barn services uh, within sort of Salzburg. Uh, and yeah, all, I think I've got all of the German routes installed, so these should be all the trains you'll get on this route if you own, well, every other German DLC, basically. And there's the 103, which does one service. <coughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, the main trains include Vralberg, Talent 1, uh, the Dosto, which we can actually look at the Dosto, but yeah, that has passenger services. Um, the 185 and the 111. Uh, I don't think the 628 is included. No, I don't think so. But yeah, uh, that was Salzburg to Rosenheim. Hopefully everybody did enjoy that. that. was my first look. Links can be found in usual places, Discord, PayPal, and Merch Store. Link for that Dovetail Games Store, giving us a key to show it off. What did you guys think? Comment below. Apart from that, thanks for coming in, and I hope we'll see you in the next one. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.